Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to upcycle a faux crochet top. Some of you might remember a year ago, I went to the Goodwill and I just picked out some random things to upcycle and then I haven't done anything with them. So I thought, this is a cute summery top, why not? So I decided to turn it inside out to get that inner tag on the outside just so I could work with it better. And I'm trying to do a tall, deep scrunch and I'm using my over the sink strainer and I have a link for it down below in the description box along with everything else that I use for tie dye. It just makes these projects quick and easy. I decided that I wanted to do the dye over ice method for this one. So add your ice to where you don't see any more fabric showing through. For this project, I decided to pull from nature, so I'm using my hydrangea as the inspiration. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And I'm not adding any green to this project, I'm actually just taking the inspiration from the actual flower itself. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. Now I'm going to cover it with a foil and I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to let it batch for the full 48 hours. It's recommended that you let it batch at least 24 hours at 70 degrees or higher after the ice melts. Now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon, a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft and Millsoft is a professional fabric softener and I get both of them from Dharma Trading Company. And again, with everything else, the links to for them are down below in the description box. It just makes it easy. You can click on the link, it'll take you to Dharma. You can read up on the stuff and see if you wanna use it. And then I let this project air dry and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our faux crochet top on Donna and she looks so cute wearing it. This really is an adorable top. I'm not 100% a fan of this particular speckly color combination. And while I did achieve the inspiration picture, there are some areas that are very pale blue and they just really stick out to me. So for me, this is going to be a re-dye project. Now, if I am wrong and it's like so fabulous, you guys tell me and I'll leave it alone, but I think it could be better. So overall though, I think the colors are very beautiful, just not on this particular project. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie dyeing.